Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring and giving a major custom makeover to this little Matchbox Lotus Super 7. Matchbox produced this in the 1 to 75 series from 1971 until 1977. The original version was orange with a bat sticker on the bonnet. That's this one. They made that from 71 until 74. And the later version was yellow with some red checkers and a number 60 sticker on the bonnet. I'm going to be tidying it up and customizing it sort of in the style of this Catum 7. So this is the modern version of the Super 7. Caterham bought the rights from Lotus. Now they produce these as kit sets or you can buy completed cars. See it's a little bit stripped down from the version that Matchbox has made. Doesn't that look like a fun little car? I actually saw a guy dropping into the garage with one a couple of weeks ago in town. I had a quick chat to him. So this is our example. Looking a right mess. Still got the windscreen there though. I've got a couple of others with no windscreens at all. It's a nice solid old metal casting on the base and the body. Wheels a bit worn out. Bent axles there. But all there pretty much. So there's two small posts holding it together at the rear and then the grill is used as a tab at the front. And with those drilled out I can pop the base off. Classic old plastic Hot Wheels suspension there. There's the interior the top of the broken windscreen. See there was a little rivet holding in the rest of the windscreen under there. I'll just pop that out. So there it is all taken apart. Next I'll use some paint stripper to strip the paint off few people ask which paint stripper I use. It's just standard sort of paint stripper over here that you get from the hardware store. I think the stripping agents dechloromethane. So here's the casting after paint stripping and a cleanup with the wire brush on my Dremel. And then I use a cutting disc to remove those great big wheel arches that go all the way down the side of the car. I believe this design created quite a bit of lift at the front of the car at high speed, which isn't surprising. While I'm cutting away at this, I'll just take a quick chance to throw a massive shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. Thanks so much. You can see their names scrolling up in the credits. Check out the link in the description below if you want to help out as well. Once I had the bulk removed, I could use a file and some sandpaper to tidy up. Next I'm going to remove this little round piece of panelling here behind the door because that's not there on the Caterham version. There we go. Next I'm going to remove the suspension and the wheels and axles from the base. It's held on with a couple of little rivets. 
So there's also a new link down below where you can now get 15% off of the Starbond super glues and accelerators. I use them all the time, use them all over this build. There's the base casting, it's looking a little bit grubby. Now the cat inversions only got an exhaust on one side, so I'm chopping off one of the exhausts. And I gave it a clean up with the wire brush. Get rid of all of that gunk and oxidation off of it. And here's our two castings so far after a bit of chopping and sanding. Yeah, you can see where this side there's no exhaust. I'm going to have to fill in those holes there. So I'm using some epoxy putty while that's curing I'll just pop the wheels and axles out of here next sorry it's a bit slack on footage here but the original where the exhaust came out was sort of square and chunky so I just filed it and sanded it down so it looks round, like a round pipe coming out. Then the Caterham one has four smaller pipes, but that was just a bit too fiddly. And there I've replaced the rest of the exhaust with some aluminium tubing. And I've also tidied up the other side there. Next I'm going to drill some little holes on the back here. I'm going to use those to anchor a styrene roll cage. To make some new front wheel arches I'm using some old Hot Wheels wheels. I've just chopped the insides out of them and then cut out my little wheel arches and sanded them off smooth. So here I've replaced the suspension plate with some new metal axle rods and onto those I've glued the front wheel arches using some little bent pieces of paper clip and here I've added some front headlights and the roll cage onto the body of the Super 7. Here is the interior. It's all there. Luckily that little steering wheel hasn't broken off. That's a bit grubby, so I gave it a wash. Next, I add some little headrests onto it. Here it is once I've painted it black. And then I detail it with some little racing harnesses. Back to the body now, I start painting that with some white primer and then a couple of coats of nice orange. Then I've printed out some decals here, sort of similar to the Caterham decals but I've added a custom number 7 on the bonnet there. Here they are applied and they're also painted and detailed the lights and the roll cage etc and here's the base 
So it's just painted with black primer and then I've detailed the grill and the pipe on the side and then sort of put a silvery wash over the base. So here's the windscreen. This turned out to be a little bit problematic. You can see it's a bit scuffed and not the clearest there. So it was given a sanding with some 2000 grit sandpaper and then a really hard out polish. And I added some little mirrors on the side and then I've masked off the windscreen and I sprayed it with black, removed the masking and I also, which I don't often do, dipped it in the self shining floor polish but it still never really came out fully clear, there's a few inclusions in it and stuff. So here's the wheels I'm going to be using. I did have some that were exactly like the ones on the car I'm copying, but they were too small. So I've used these ones and painted the rooms black and I think they look pretty good. Right, so here's all the parts of our little Lotus. Chopped up, modified and now ready to go back together. So while I am doing that, Let's just take a quick look back and see what we started with. Our little Matchbox Super 7, all the way from the 70s. Looking a jolly scruffy mess there. Pretty chipped up paint job. Broken windscreen. But still hanging in there and ready to get back on the track with a bit of a modern makeover. And here it is. Our finished, customised, Caterham 7 style Matchbox Lotus Super 7. It's been given a bit of a major restyling, removing those great big wheel arches off the side. And replacing them with some more modern, small ones at the front there. It's also... Got a nice new roll bar, some side mirrors, headlights and indicators and the interior detailed with some little racing harnesses. It's got some nice new decals and license plates and of course those cool new wheels. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and hang around because next up I'm going to be taking it to the track in Germany at the Nordschleifer. I'm going to be having a quick race against a bunch of other Super 7s. back everyone and here we are in the Nürburgring Germany at the Nordschleifer and I've set up a 10 car race all at Catam 7s the seasons have changed it's spring here now there's a layer of winter snow all over everything my last couple of drives here 
There's the lights out, and we're off. Cloud of smoke. Into that first sharp corner. Managed to make a couple of places there, I think. And everybody's off up to speed. So it's got a really great ratio of sort of power to handling this mod. Really good fun to drive. You've got to keep it up in the gears. It's not super fast. I'm taking it through here and third. Maybe down to second in a bigger, faster car. Really fun racing. You can throw it around a little bit. So I'm making some ground on red here. It's got the better line into that corner on the outside. Hopefully I can keep carrying my speed off into the straight here. Get past him. Really open it up. Into top gear up the hill. Bit of air time there. Back down into fourth. And I'm going to pretty much floor it all the way through here. And up over the crest here. Carry that speed down into the straight. So Lotus built the Super 7s between 1957 and 1972, designed by the founder of Lotus, Colin Chapman. It's been considered the embodiment of the Lotus philosophy of performance through low weight and simplicity. So battling with yellow there side by side. Making sure I get a little bit of room, managed to pull away from him. And then flat out down past the pine trees. And the original well, Super 7 was fitted with a 1200cc motor. Then the later Super 7 models sported 14 up to 16 1700cc engines. Oh, going sideways a little bit there as I lock it up. Blue quite hard on the brakes in front of me. It's one thing with the AI, sometimes you're chasing them close, fast around corners and they might break quite hard and you go run to the back of them. Okay, I managed to pull past them. So in 1973, Lotus sold all the rights to the 7 to Catham in England and Steel Brothers in Christchurch, New Zealand. It's actually where I live. And then they made 95 cars using old Lotus kits until they ran out. And when Catham ran out of the kit parts, they introduced their own version of the Super 7, which is what I'm driving here today, the Catahim 7. Now I go locking up the front right for a moment, make up a bit of ground on green and yellow in front. Tapped out through here, getting right up to fourth, and breaking hard into it. Oh, there we go. See the AI breaking much harder than me. I nearly went right into the back of him again. Lost a bit of momentum. Tight corner, they've definitely taken a bump out that used to be there. It ran there quite smoothly now as it used to when we throw the car. On the outside, looking for a place to make a move. And green and yellow. slip on him, past him, I can wind it out around these big long corners. So not a huge amount of torque in this car really, so I'm going to keep it in fourth gear. I'm going to change up to fifth. bother to change down around here at all, just button off for a moment and the foot back down flat on the floor. But 
and off just a tiny bit around here and then flat again. Carrying it around here in third, bit of a late shift down the second. Into the carousel. A bit closer to blue the golf backing it out up in the front there. Hopefully they'll be keeping each other busy. Self inching up on blue here. Be able to look for a way past him. Perhaps through here, there's not enough room. He's breaking harder than me, locks it up for a moment. Right up beside him now. Can't, can't keep my speed around here. Yes, slips in behind me. It's only one lap, I'm starting to run out of room here. Hopefully I can make a pass on golf before the end of the lap. Side by side. He's pulling away again as he takes a bit of line through there. not breaking as hard as the other guys were. Managing to get some slip on him I think, but I still can't get past. Tight through here. Hopefully I can make a go at it on the inside around this corner. Again, he's on the outside, he's got a, a much better line from there than me. Staying right on his tail. Coming up to that last little carousel. Going on the inside, oh no, I've locked it up. Span off the road, managed to straighten it back up, but he's totally gotten away from me. I'm surprised that guy behind him actually getting around me. Must have got a bit of a fright. And I think no matter how much I tap it out around here, I'm not going to be able to catch up to him. See how we go down the straight here. So there they all go. Plague of lotuses. tapped out in 184 kilometers an hour. It'll be pretty exhilarating in a little open topped car like this. So that must be first and second. There goes Golf. Third. And then Blue is making a go for it but just couldn't quite get past me there. Make up a little bit more time on golf. Keep the tap out through here, but it's just too late. I'm never gonna catch him up. Down into second for that last few tight corners there. And here we are over the line for fourth place. Well that was some fun racing. Really good fun little car to drive. So you can find this mod, it's out there, free, just a bit of googling, Caterham 7 for Assetto Corsa. Thanks heaps for hanging in there and watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.